Hi there, students. Captious, an adjective. Captiously, the adverb. Captiousness, the noun about of the quality. Okay, if you describe somebody as captious, they're always criticizing about unimportant small details. Yeah, they're always nitpicking. Yeah, they're trying to find fault. So um, he's a very captious character that complains about everything. <coughs> he captiously commented that the tea was a fraction too warm. Okay, so captious. Um, somebody who's trying to find and point out trivial faults. Um, yeah, my teacher always marks my work very captiously. Yeah, he's always looking for faults. Um, a captious scholar who's always looking for mistakes in uh, other people's work. Okay, don't be so captious. Yeah, this thing, this is, it's really very good. And you're nitpicking, you're fault finding, you're being hypercritical. Yeah, you're being overcritical, you're carping, you're judging this just too severely. Yeah, um, I'm not very fond of captious people. Yeah, let's see, you can also use captious, meaning something designed to trap somebody or to perplex somebody. So he's always asking captious questions, trick questions, trying to um, catch you out. Um, uh, let's see, I like to ask my students captious questions, like, uh, where do you make a toast? As opposed to, where do you make toast? Yeah, that's definitely a captious question. But most normally, yeah, somebody who is uh, disposed to um, raise petty objections, somebody who's always caviling, yeah, they're very nitpicky, they're always uh, looking for faults in something, yeah, his captiousness is really annoying. I think in the past, um, as well, captures, something that captures, yeah? Um, but then, okay, a captious argument designed to entrap people, yeah? It's, it's related to the word capture and a caption, okay? So he's a really captious bloke, yeah? His captious comments are just really annoying. I wish my teacher was all not always captiously looking for mistakes in my work. Okay, so now the big question, formality, captious. This is a formal word. I think I'd probably give it 7.5 in formality, maybe 7. I definitely wouldn't use it in an informal conversation. I think maybe nitpicking would be a good word. Uh, informally. Use it semi-formally and formally. And then as to origin, well it comes through French from Latin, captiosus, meaning uh, tr tricky, which comes from the uh, Latin word captio, to quibble, to deceive, to trick, to catch, to catch out. Okay. So, I'm sure I've made some mistakes here and uh, th there's no need to feel captious if uh, you point out any mistakes that I make because uh, I think that's probably constructive criticism. Okay, so captious, nitpicking, tending to find fault. Yeah, he's just so captious, it's really annoying. His uh, captiousness is oh, just terrible. Um, I think maybe uh, when uh, lawyers write a contract, they need to be very captious to make sure that the contract is absolutely right. So anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Captious. Captiously. Captiousness.